Good morning. How's everybody doing on YouTube today? Good? Good. So, anyways, let's jump right into this. Yesterday, Mike from Nibiru News posted an article, an article he read, about how the Russians shot down a meteorite that came into the atmosphere, was heading towards Earth or, or whatever. It was bigger than the, the one they had a few years back. And anyways, so the Russians shot it down. Yay! Anyways, I left a comment on his uh, on his channel, a post. And um, in the post I said, it's impossible. It can't happen. And, um, well boy did that raise all sorts of Raise the shitstorm. <laughs> Literally, raise the shitstorm. A lot of you people out there do not read the post, not in its entirety. It's a little icon down the bottom that says read more. You guys should learn to click on it. And you guys should also learn to click on people's pitches and go to their actual channel and see what their channel's about. See if, you know, they have a picture of themselves or if, you know, they have any videos out there and find out what their opinions are before you make any dumbass comments. Yeah, you really should. I've been listening to Mike since, since he started this channel. I'm a firm believer in Nibiru. And I have been trying to tell people for years that the Nibiru system, that solar system, is already here in our solar system. It's a lot closer than a lot of people believe. Nobody wanted to hear it. There are some of you out there who do believe exactly what I'm saying. But the majority of people don't. Because some friggin' idiot keeps sending Mike information, supposedly some scientist which I'm doubting very much this guy's even a real scientist, is saying Nibiru is not supposed to be here till 2020, 2021. So let me ask you something. If Nibiru's not in our solar system, our localized solar system, how can we be getting bombarded with debris from the Nibiru system? It's impossible. You don't have to be a rocket scientist or an engineer or even a mathematician to figure this shit out. Any and all debris from a system as massive as the Nibiru system. We're talking about a brown dwarf star with seven planets and they all have moons and they're all ten times bigger than Earth. I'm pausing here. Think about it. So, what actually happens is debris is pulled into the more massive system. That being the system with more mass for you idiots out there. Okay? Now listen. Listen and learn. If the Nibiru system is out past the Kuiper Belt, Okay. Any and all debris from the asteroid belt and the Kuiper belt, which are two different belts, by the way, there are some idiots out there, and you know who you are, <laughs> who keep referring to the Kuiper belt. We're getting debris from the Kuiper belt. Listen, dumbass. The Kuiper belt is out past Pluto. The asteroid belt is behind Mars, okay? So, matter of fact, there was an article not too long ago, um, another article, um, Leak Project. Ah, Leak Project. He put it out. How the Planet Nine, now mind you, Planet Nine technically is the Planet X system. Remember, we downgraded Pluto. Pluto is no longer a planet. Why did they do that? They didn't want to send people into a panic. That's right. They didn't want to send people into a panic because they come out and say, oh, we found planet X. Everybody be hitting the Bible saying, oh, my God, it's the end days, which it is. So they refer to this as the planet nine system. The planet nine is so massive. 
that it's actually tilting our solar system towards it. Not pushing us away, but tilting us towards it. Think about that for a minute. So anyways, if it's outside past the Kuiper belt, all the debris from the Kuiper belt, so on, so on, so on, so on, would be pulled into, once again, the more massive system. It would not be pushing stuff out of the way. No, sorry, my friend. It's not like a game of, of pool and billiard balls where everything's just bouncing around. You know, smashing into each other and taking off in different directions. It's all being pulled to the massive planets. They have massive, very powerful geomagnetic forces. Happy I didn't say gravity. That's the other fucking nitwit out there. So, yeah, someone left me a test. Oh, gravity's a theory. But you know something? They use it in everyday fucking equations. So anyways, you know, it's like Taoism, still a theory. Anyways, so everything's being pulled towards that system, Planet Nine system. Not being bounced around and pushed out towards us. Any of you who think the Planet Nine system is pushing stuff out towards us, you need to rethink your reality. Now, I know it's not your fault. A lot of you have been indoctrinated and brainwashed. Welcome to the public school system and most colleges. All right. I keep getting off topic. I apologize. So, the, the only way we would be getting debris smacking into the earth is if we are either in front of the system... And it would have to be in our solar system. And it's pulling shit from like the asteroid belt, etc. Towards it. And we're getting pummeled. Or the system would have to be in our solar system. The Planet 9 system would have to already be in our solar system. And would have passed us for us to be in the tail debris. So, once again, dumbasses. All you morons are, oh, well, it's all the shit from the tail debris. Really? Then that means it's in our system and it's already passed. Wait, but there's a problem. Just because this system is massive and pulls the majority of shit towards it, there is a push and pull reaction from the system on planetary bodies that have north and south poles. Get it? Earth has a north and south pole. And depending on where the north and south poles are, say on planet X or planet 9, whichever you guys want to call it, it would either push the planet somewhat away from it or it would tilt the planet more towards it. That's the wobble everybody's been talking about. Seriously. I've been trying to beat this in people's heads verbally since 2011, 2012. Nibiru is already in our solar system. They have come out on mainstream media and, and told us in 2011, 2012, they came out and said, we live in a binary solar system. Our sun has a twin. It was already here then. I was picking up pictures of the brown dwarf star on an infrared camera I had set up at my house. You can see it. It's there. Has been. Which means if Nemesis, Red Brown Dwarf, is already in our system, the other heavenly bodies are in our system. This this solar system is not a very big one. It's a small solar system in comparison to ours because our planet's more spread out. This one's a little bit more compact, making it more dense, making it have more pull. <laughs> oh, man. Seriously. For all you twits that left fucking ridiculous post yesterday you know seriously but before you do anything or say anything I'll leave a comment you should really go to other people's channels and check out see see what they have you know click on the little picture everyone has a little picture and uh, go to their channel see what kind of content they have see what they believe in 
because I've believed in Nibiru long before Mike even started his channel. And I've been following Mike ever since he started his channel. Actually, I had people out there who read my, my post. I left three of them. And were like, oh, you know, you're a troll. You even sound like one of us. Because I am one of you. <laughs> I could be a real dickhead and go through all the posts and leave names and, and, and shit like that. But I'm not going to do that. Because, you know, I do believe the majority of you people are, are decent people. I sort of feel bad for you. You've been lied to, brainwashed, indoctrinated, whatever you want to call it. You have. And people are mentally lazy nowadays. Truly, truly mentally lazy. Nobody wants to do any hard thinking. Sad. Truly is. Because if you just had a little bit of common sense, you paid just a little bit more attention in, in astronomy class. And yes, I've taken many. You would have known right off the bat that what Mike was reading... Whoever wrote it was lying to him. I like Mike. But some douchebag out there calling himself a scientist, slipping him shit, or sending him shit, that is just so fucking outrageous, it's ridiculous. Uh, it, it makes no sense. You can't, and I'm going to go over this again, I'm repeat myself, I know. You cannot have the Planet X system... I'm not going to even call it Planet 9 no more. The Planet X system, outside of our solar system, pushing shit towards us. It don't work that way. Never has, never will. Okay? It don't. It don't work that way. And for you dumbasses that don't know what a satellite is, a satellite is any object. Okay? Any object. That orbits another object. That is considered a satellite. When you see in any scientific papers, or you hear someone say or refer to satellites, does not always mean GPS, telecommunications, and so on, so on, so on. It means any body that orbits another body. Earth has a satellite. It's called the moon. Okay? You people know who you are. And I'm being honest, I, I, I don't think you're, you're bad people. I don't think you're, you know, I think you've been brainwashed. Like I said, a little thinking for yourself goes a long way. But before you guys leave, posts that make you look stupid. Sit, have a cigarette, drink some coffee, have a beer or something. And think about what you're going to say before you say it. There are too many of you out there who just didn't even read the post. Didn't even click on, on there was one of them I left that you had to click the post on the bottom and say, read more. Didn't do that. And a lot of you, there are a couple of you, don't even watch the whole videos in its entirety. You watch the videos and then you start making comments after you hear a few fucking things Mike says. And you're judging the video in my comment without even hearing the whole thing. Wake the fuck up. <laughs> mm, had to make this video, because if I went on Mike's show tonight, called in and was swearing and really telling how I feel, you get pissed off and end up hanging up on me. But anyways, Mike, brother, you see this? This has nothing to do with you. You know, although that article you read... Come on, brother. You've been doing this for a long time. A long time. You can't have it both ways. You know, everybody would like to have their cake and eat it too, but you can't have it both ways. You can't have the Nibiru system outside of our solar system and we're getting pulted with fucking debris. And you can't, you know, it, it's impossible. It's impossible. And you can't have it in our solar system if we're not being pulled with debris. You get what I'm saying? When did I screw that up? I think you get the gist of it. Thought this was going to be a quick video. I don't know how long it is. I'm going to shut up and make another one. I'll see you in a bit.